Are you tired of bored and bland? Guy. Are you tired of bored or? Are you tired of bland and boring thumbnails? Be honest. Do you want people to click on your videos or not? Because some of you guys are making thumbnails so bad, I feel like I should report you to the police. But don't worry. Today we're gonna fix all that. I'm gonna show you how to make thumbnails that pop and make viewers click faster than my viewer retention falls off. And the best part? We're doing it for free using Photopea.com. So let's go ahead and get this started. First up, head over to Photopea.com. It's like Photoshop but completely free. And start by creating a new project. Make sure the dimensions are 1280 by 720 right here. That's the YouTube standard or you can go over here to youtube thumbnail and click on that then you want to hit create if you get this part wrong your thumbnail will look like it just went through a trash compactor and we do not want that step two you want to add a really awesome background like so guys remember your background sets the mood a good rule of thumb to follow is use something clean and vibrant no one wants to stare at a sad gray thumbnail a little pro tip is to use colors that complement your subject and by complement i don't mean clash like a 90s outfit step three add your subject i'm gonna go with mr beast and i'm gonna put him in my project like this why mr beast you may ask don't ask questions guys make sure you make everything really big and visible because you don't want to have to play where's waldo when you're looking at a thumbnail step four add bold text go to your text tool over here click on your canvas and type in some sick text it's a mr beast video so you know we got to add a giant number for no reason then we can grab our move tool over here hit Control alt and t and then we can grab these boxes and drag it out. All right, we got our text here, but now we're going to do some color coding. So let's make the money green because money is green. Obviously, everyone knows that. And let's make castle white because that is the least important part of the image. Now, the text is kind of hard to read and this all looks like crap. So how are we going to make it look better? Well, keep following along. Once you get to this point, hold control and click on both of your text layers. Then right click on it and click on convert to a smart object. Then you're going to want to double click on that and go to stroke click on stroke and increase the size to a million no actually just go to like go to whatever looks good okay i don't know and then you can resize this by hitting Control alt t you can do whatever you guys want you have free will believe it or not boom calm down guys calm down i know it looks crazy okay we're gonna make it look a lot better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this castle stand out a lot more so click on your castle layer go down here to new layer right click on that new layer that you just created and click on clipping mask that means everything on this layer will only affect the layer below it so we're gonna go to our brush tool now make sure it's black and you can increase the size up here or you can hold alt and move your mouse while right clicking and we're going to draw black around pretty much all of the castle and kind of feather it in so it's not such a hard line and then we're going to turn the opacity down a lot and now we're going to do the complete opposite so go ahead and do that new layer thing again clipping mask it this time change it to white and brush on the castle calm down guys i'm not trying to make a ghost trust me it'll look fine in a second go to blend mode over here and change it to overlay or you can go with some other ones and experiment but for me overlay is the only one that looks good then you can change the opacity if you want to make it not look so insane let's be honest we're gonna need some arrows to make this stand out even more so go to your pen tool over here and draw yourself an arrow hold alt and click on this to get rid of that point or else it'll screw you up This might be the best arrow I have ever made in my entire life. Once you're done with the arrow, click shape, choose the color you want and click OK. And then we can resize it and make it look better. Now you're like, OK, there's still blue crap around it. How do we get rid of that? Go to your pen tool and click Control D. That's not correct. Click delete. That's not correct. Right click and click remove path. Nope, that's not it. Right click, make selection, click OK and then Control D. There might be another way to do it, but that's what I just figured out. We're going to add a stroke around this as well. So go ahead and add the stroke, but you might need to adjust the settings on it because it looks insane. Mr. Beast is looking a little dark. So let's go ahead and click on that layer and go to image adjustments and brightness and contrast. Then we can crank up the brightness on that. Crank up the, nah, don't crank up the contrast. Just the brightness for now and make him stand out a little more. Let's go ahead and add an outer glow around Mr. Beast as well. So double click on Mr. Beast and let's find outer glow right here change the color right here to white change the blend mode to color dodge or screen or overlay then crank the spread and size it's completely up to you yeah we could try these other ones out overlay is pretty sick we'll go with that 
boom hit okay now we're gonna add some curves so go to your top layer click this little half circle here and go to curves then pretty much make an s like so it'll make everything stand out a lot more now we're gonna add some lights around this whole thing so go below the curves layer create a new layer and go to your brush tool next we're gonna go to white and just add a white spot above everything like this and then we're gonna go here change it to green and we're gonna create a new layer then we can brush some green here that's not green that's white brush some green here and here and change the blend mode on this bad boy to whatever looks good to us this looks pretty good right okay maybe like that boom turn the opacity down a little bit like this create a new layer and do the same thing again but like right here and then change this one to uh either overlay or screen and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a color balance layer by going down here to this half circle and clicking on color balance then we're going to go a little bit to the left with red a little bit to the right with green and all the way over here with blue this will make all the colors stand out and look great it all kind of blends the whole thing together and makes it look pretty seamless the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a border around this entire image so go to your rectangle tool down here Go up to fill and click that X. Go to stroke and choose the color white. Then you're gonna wanna just draw on your canvas and then adjust the squares so they are at each corner. Turn the stroke up to about 45 and then go here to the blend mode and change it to overlay. Then you can adjust stuff as you need to. Like I'm gonna adjust the text a little bit and then the arrow as well, wherever that is. See, maybe you guys should label these because I don't. So I end up losing track of what I'm actually doing. Now, one of the most important tips for making your stuff stand out is the blur tool. Go over to your blur tool, make sure your background layer is selected, click yes to the, whatever this says, and then you can start to draw on your background and blur everything out besides the center of focus, which is Mr. Beast and this castle. You can see just that alone made this stand out so much more. Guys, I know it looks like I made a freaking Michael Bay thumbnail, but it stands out, which is the purpose of this video. Now we're going to test out this thumbnail. So go to your zoom tool here and drag out. And if you can still read it when it's really tiny, that means that's a good thumbnail. Remember, a thumbnail is a billboard, not a novel. Keep it simple, clean, and clickable. And that's it, guys. Now you got a thumbnail that stands out, grabs attention, and makes people want to click. If this helped you out, make sure you smash the like button. I'm just kidding. I don't really care about that. I think it's kind of annoying when people say, smash this, smash that, smash this. I don't, it doesn't matter. Just do it, all right? I shouldn't have to say it. If you enjoyed it, you just do it, all right? And if your thumbnails are still bad after this, well, I'll pray for you.